Drones to drills is really, <clears throat> it was an approach, it's a step-by-step -step approach at how to evaluate a soil anomaly that we found when we're basically running these recce ridges in the Yukon. And really it was a drones, the first part of drones to drills is droning. We drone the, the ground and that's kind of like a 3D blueprint of the work site. It's a nice high resolution 3D model that we could put into the computers and that's actually the base layer that we can start adding all the other layers on top of. And then what we put into that program is a new DC resistivity uh, technique that's an IP survey, but it's five meter electrode spacings versus 25 to 50 meters. So mm -hmm. that allows me to find the narrow, narrow structures up to a meter and a half wide, and I could light them up. And so it's designed for the top 100 meters. And that's kind of what Ground Truth has done is specialized in the top 100 meters to evaluate the ground. Whether now, so that's the geophysics method. And then the next method is a hammer drill that probes the ground on five meter spacings. <laughs> over top of these IP anomalies and we actually see which structure is possibly anomalous with gold. Mm -hmm. And so that's, we could tag that on this detailed survey and then we come follow that up with this rotary air blast drill on the same track platform that'll drill a hundred meter hole here in the Yukon in about a 10-12 hour shift. So now we've kind of went from the soil anomaly, flushed it out, figured out where the cracks are underneath it. Now we've hit it with, pinned it down with the GT probe with the hammer drill, and now we've pinned it down to within five meter accuracy. And then when you put the rab in there, now you've tested the target out down to the depths of about 100 meters. Normally it's like if you're gonna go drill it, it's a diamond drill. So people weren't using rotary air blast drills here in Yukon too much until about two or three years ago uh, when, mm -hmm. Ken, when Cam and X started drilling on their coffee project with it. That was the, oh, this is the aha moment that this mm -hmm. is working. We started drilling that in 2010. We were the operators up to 2009. And once they poked their first hole that we basically pointed at them to, that was the discovery hole. And now they've outlined over 5 million ounces and Gold Corp has picked up that project. We're the guys who found the white and the coffee or led to the discovery, mm -hmm. set that thing up. So <clears throat> what I ended up doing was when the downturn hit, we actually kind of went back to the drawing board and threw in about about 750 grand, 800 grand into this technology. I tweaking it up and figuring it out. So that took about three years. So now instead of diamond drilling for 500 bucks all in per meter, it's about $150 all in per meter for this RAB system. So <clears throat> that was one cool part. And the other one, like the DC resistivity, to track down the soils, Normally it was basically big hose, big 220 hose marching through the bush, <clears throat> digging deep, looking for these cracks. Well, now I could see them without actually doing any disturbance. Mm -hmm. And the probe, that GT probe, that actually, you know, again, they would probably use a hole for that. And now we have no reclamation. Basically, there's almost zero disturbance of the ground because we're weaseling our way through the bush. Mm -hmm. Got to cut the odd tree, but it's the odd tree now. So instead of line cutting through the bush. So what, what I've been doing is marrying different mm -hmm. technologies. So not only we rab drilling, which mm -hmm. was kind of new for up here, we XRF the powder. So mm -hmm. that gives me the metal content as we're going down the hole. That's done live. And then at the end of the day, we downhole televiewer this. We put a probe down that gives me an oriented picture of the inside of the drill, the walls of the drill of what mm -hmm. we're just drilling. And so when I could, so now I take that downhole televiewer picture and I splice that with the XRF and you could actually see your mineralized zones. Like you could actually mm -hmm. visually see it and you could tell from the XRF. That, we're doing that by before midnight of the same day of drilling. That normally would take you probably six weeks to two months to get mm -hmm. that answered normally, the, the old way. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the technology because we're all satellite linked up in the bush. So that's why we could kind of run a command center here in Dawson with all of our guys at different spots, camps in the middle of nowhere, but they're all satellite linked up into us. So the data is coming in nightly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then the kind of uniqueness we did with, with this one hole a day RAB program is we drill one hole a day, we XRF it and teleview it before 8.30 at night. And we let everybody sit and look at the data for the evening. And so that allows us to readjust basically the the drill holes if we have to the next morning. 
But the other thing, it allows, like, it's just that time to pause to think. And that's mm -hmm. what we don't give ourselves in this business sometimes. And that's what we're trying to give us, increase our odds again.